And we're back with T with uh, TSPN, and we have from Lanza, Steve. Yes. And then Steve. Ed. How and are you today? Very good. Um, nice to last you. names, you want to give them or not? <laughs> it's Sorry. Lanza. Lanza. Okay. Um, Lanza is a store down in Amador City. Yes. In, in Amador County. And as people can see, you have a lot of things here that people are already looking at saying, hmm, that would look great around 4th of July or Flag Day. Absolutely. And this one would look great, like... Five o'clock somewhere. Day. Parrot Head Day, if you're doing a Jimmy Buffett theme. Oh, all the time. It's five o'clock somewhere. That's right. Um, tell us a little bit about the store, how you got started, and been around for a while. I'll let him start. Okay, been 13 years, Amador City, and uh, started out, mostly she started out with furniture. Mm -hmm. And uh, from there it grew into what uh, people asked for, and a lot of it is the metal art. Like this beautiful stuff out of Minnesota, we try to go U.S. as much as possible. Our beautiful whirly gigs, yard art. Some of this, this is hidden so well. Yeah. And then that one, you pull this show out. the show off the butterfly too. Some of it's oh, hidden so well in beautiful. there that it, it just shows how well it blends with powder the coated, powder this coated, powder. laser cut. This is indoor or outdoor, which makes it really versatile. Mm -hmm. So it looks beautiful on the wall, and you can see how it shines in the light. Mm -hmm. And outdoor in the sun, it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. My wife's just redoing a room now for our uh, granddaughters, and so I'm sure she'll be down to your store now. So. For people redoing um, uh, their outside garden, we have these very unique mushrooms, if they could catch them. That, that's, those are made out of PVC. Wow. It's a great use of, uh, of a product that's, uh, or a, uh, a material that's been cast away, and they've, they're turned into mushroom. It's a very unique art, and we have them exclusively at the store, which is as, as, long, as well as the African art. Dream catchers? We, we try to cover a wide variety of, of artwork. Just uh, something that's affordable, mm -hmm. something that's fun. We get tourists in as well as local, as local guests. Well, let's say the, the mushrooms. How much would the mushrooms cost? Uh, ranging from 49 to 89, depending on the size. It's the cap size, because as some people don't know that the, uh, the PVC is actually round. It's cut. Mm -hmm. And then it has to be flattened, then shaped again. So that takes a big, that's a big uh, uh, circumference of PVC in order to get the caps that large. So uh, uh, anywhere from 49 to 89, but they last longer than we do. So yeah. it's, a, it's a good, nice thing to have and, around. And let, you're right, it's a good uh, use of material recycling. Now. Absolutely. Most of the most of the pinwheels we have are um, are are the pro, are the uh, collected by the RVers uh, that come to the um, the. The RV, so the RV park, 49er, the, RV park. <laughs> the 49er. And uh, we, we go through they there like it. an ice cream truck, back and forth with our truck, this stuff whirling and twirling, and mm -hmm. they just pick it off like piranha. It's a, it's a lot of fun. Almost like a uh, one of those people that pulls up with food, except for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have these. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. This. yeah, we have a lot of fun with this. Uh, you'll see our yard, you can't miss our store because the yard looks just like this. It's filled with all kinds of artwork. Uh, Amateur City's not very big, so as you go down the hill from Sutter Creek, you hit Amador City, where are you located there? Uh, you would have to turn the corner, you make that big bend mm -hmm. uh, to the left, and we're on the left. Okay. We're uh, three spots on the left. The yard is filled with yard art. Uh, the mushrooms are out front, very visible. Mm -hmm. And then indoors, we have four different rooms. I'm surprised that uh, you let any of this go, because Steve's having so much fun with it. So. <laughs> <laughs> we, yes, we have some in our own yard, too. Right. We also have uh, Matryoshkas from Russia, too. So that's uh, you have some things in. for Easter here that yes. people could pick up. Yeah. This is, uh, these, these open all, open, there's actually five They all characters. fit inside. They're all, they all, all these fit inside this one. Yeah, so that's a cute one for Easter. I thought I brought that. And we'll this one out. opens up too, right? As well, yes. This is a five piece. Let's set that down so people can see it there. Okay, so this keeps on going down into it, five pieces. Yes, it does. We have uh, uh, Winnie the Pooh and Mickey Mouse as well. Inside of Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Same Tigger. Thing, huh? Yeah. Wow. We have Tigger. And Let's see. Inside Tigger. And all the way that's down. That's Eeyore. And that's, that's a three-piecer? Yeah. Or that's a three-piece. This piece is a five-piece. A five-piece, too. Yeah. All the way down. Wow. Yeah. So what are items like this, and what, what are they going to run? Oh, this one. Let's see. I'll tell you right now. This is thirty-seven ninety-nine. This one I didn't oh, mark, but that's... this is thirty-nine ninety-nine. These are $20 a piece, and they're all five-piece. And, and they're all from Russia. 
Not a bad price you know. for any of these, considering there's five pieces. Yeah. In Absolutely. Too. Yeah. I, we, great, uh, great time for Easter coming up, too. Yes. So Fit besides, right in a basket. <laughs> yeah. Besides going to... Um, Going up to the RV park in Plymouth, do you mm -hmm. do any other outside marketing like that? Uh, historic photos. I, I have st photos that I distribute through the, uh, mm -hmm. the Highway 49 corridor of Gold Country and whatnot. Uh, they're, they're available at the store and at uh, other outlets as well. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, no, we're all about the store. We right. really are. It's a, it's a unique location. It's not right on the main street. You got it. You'll you'll come into town, and before you know it, you've passed us. So you, and and parking <laughs> is a situation. Uh, I went to the last uh, Amador City Council meeting. Yes. There are a lot of activities coming up this summer, starting from basically from the bridge uh, dedication on. Yes, yes. and it's yes. about time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so We're looking forward to it. Uh, they have the street dances and uh, music and every on. Saturday yep. night. Mm -hmm. With the the bridge opening, that was kind of a tough period there for a while, wasn't it? Oh, it was a little rough, yes, but they routed the traffic mm -hmm. around, but it, it, it slowed us up a little bit. Mm -hmm. One thing that people can do is they can go to uh, amateurcity.net okay. and find the events and find out what's going on in Amateur City. Okay, and so if they, they want to call you specifically, you have a phone number? Sure, 209-267-1234. 1234. Yes. Okay. Well, yeah. thank you very much for being oh, here today. Oh, thank you so much for having yeah. us. Well, thank, well, thank you. you. Pleasure meeting you. Yep. It's, it's nice to be here. All right. Go to Amherst City and shop at Lagda, and we're going to take do. a break. Yep. We're going to take a break, and we'll be right back. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN.